Blurp is a Twitch extension that allows viewers to play sounds live on stream with bits or channel points. In this video, we'll be going over how to set up Blurp for your stream, and we'll go through each one of Blurp's features and how you could use it in your next stream. To get set up with Blurp, go to twitch.tv and open up your creator dashboard. Now on the left hand side, click on extensions. Now we're going to search for Blurp. Now that we've found Blurp, we can go ahead and select install and then configure. Now once you click this open config, it'll take you to the Blurp website, where once you click login to Blurp with Twitch, it'll automatically make you a Blurp account. And now you have full access to your Twitch dashboard. On this page, you'll be able to select which sounds you want featured for your bit redemptions. For an example, I could scroll down here and search for any sound I want. Baba boy. Now that you've found a sound that you liked and that you want to feature, all you have to do is click and drag your sound up into the overlay. You can even add multiple pages so you can further organize your sounds. Now if you click this three dot icon right here, you can then change the name of the sound, change the volume of the sound, and even change the price to redeem. But if you want to add some exclusivity to your subscribers, you can change this setting here so only certain subscribers get access to this sound. Now let's talk about Blurp's global search feature. With this global search feature selected, viewers can go into your stream and search for any sound they want to play. Now each Blurp has a certain rating. So if you want to keep things a little bit more family friendly, you can filter it right here so only safe sounds can be searched. But if you only want the sounds you feature to be played, you can go ahead and turn the global search feature off. Now we can talk about channel points. As you can see here, you can have over 50 channel point redemption sounds. To create a new channel point reward, click on new reward. Now you can search for any sound you like. And what the dog doing? Now that you found your sound, go ahead and click this plus icon. Now you can change the reward name, the volume of it, the rewards color, and also add a description. And finally, you can set the channel point amount, as well as cooldowns, and a limit per stream, as well as a limit per user per stream. Click add reward, and now you can see your channel point redemption was successfully added. But now for some reason, if you don't want this channel point reward to be played anymore, you can simply click this toggle and it won't appear in your stream anymore. And now let's talk about my favorite Blurp feature, Blurp Buckets. Blurp Buckets is a single channel point reward that has multiple sounds inside it. For example, this fart bucket has multiple fart sounds in it, and each sound has a certain percent chance of playing. And as you can see, each sound has about a 10% chance of being played except for this one which only has a 1% chance of being played. Think of it like a prize wheel that when it's spun, you never know what it's gonna land on. And if a viewer is really lucky, they get to hear this. And the thing is with buckets, you can be as creative as you want with it. Just like this workout bucket where each sound has a different challenge attached to it. So if this blurp gets played, you have to do 10 push-ups on stream. Now let's get into blurp walk-on sounds. While you're live, your viewers can request walk-on sounds. Walk-on sounds are blurps that play when a certain viewer joins the stream. So right now, this screen is full of walk-on sounds that have yet to be approved. Now I can go through and see what user is requesting what sound, preview the sound here, change the volume, and approve whether or not I want this to be in my stream. And of course, if you ever change your mind about walk-on sounds, you can go into the approve section and remove them from your stream. Now here's how you can customize Blurp so it's perfect for your stream. Inside the settings, you can adjust the color palette for every single overlay that appears on stream. Right here, you can adjust what color you want your overlay to be, as well as add custom logos or GIFs. Now, if everything I've showed you so far looks a little bit hard for one person to handle, inside this general tab, you can add a Blurp editor. Blurp editors have full access and permissions to this Twitch dashboard. So if you're ever live and you want to make some changes to some blurps you've been hearing, you can ask any one of your editors to come and help you out. To add an editor, click on this Add Editor button. Now all you have to do is search their blurp or Twitch username. Once you've found your editor, go ahead and select Add and they will be invited to become your editor. So now you don't have to do this all on your own. Now let's say you want to use the global search feature, but you don't want to be jump scared or hear any loud noises. Inside this blacklist tab, you can go through and select different keywords that will block certain blurps from being played. To blacklist these sounds, just go inside here and search for those certain keywords. For example, jump scare. And just in case, let's do scream as well. Now these kinds of sounds will not be played in your stream. Now if a viewer gets a little bit too spammy or they play the most annoying blurps, you can also go ahead and blacklist certain viewers so they can't play blurps on your stream. Thus keeping your stream safe and spam free. Now that blurp is exactly how you want it to be and personalized for you, let me show you how to add it to your OBS. In the bits tab, click right here to copy the OBS slash browser URL. Now open up OBS and create a new browser source. Name the browser source something like blurp, then paste the link from your dashboard right here. Now you can choose wherever you want blurp overlays to show up. Now every time a blurp is played, it'll look like this. These nuts. <laughs> and now you're all set up and ready to go with blurp. Go ahead and like this video if it helped. 
If you have any questions or feedback, leave it in a comment below. And if you need a little bit more help getting set up, go ahead and join our Discord. And don't forget to subscribe for more Blurp content.